Hello everyone. In this video I want to show you um, how when you insert an object how it um, stays with other items in your document and how very important it is to know exactly where your cursor is before you insert something into your document. So this is one of the completed documents we work on in class and you can see I have my um, picture over here. Um, one of the things when you're working with spacing and that type of thing, it is a really good idea to turn on your show hide button. Um, this is just a toggle on toggle off. Of, as you can see, I just clicked on it to turn it on. I can see all of my paragraph marks. Um, it tells me, you know, where things are spatially. So it really does help, um, especially if you're trying to get some precise spacing or you want to make sure you're putting something in the right place. Um, now I'm just going to click off the picture for a second. So if I click onto the picture, do you notice that there is this object right here? It's an anchor. And what this does is it anchors this object to this paragraph. So let's say I needed to make a little more space in between these. I could click over here and if I press the enter key, notice how both of these items uh, went down a line together and that's because the picture is anchored to the top line of this item. We did that in our layout options. Um, we have square text wrapping. Let me put this over here. There we go. We did the square text wrapping, but we did the alignment. We initially, when we brought it in, it was on the left. We put the alignment to the right um, relative to the margin and the alignment uh, to the top relative to the line. So that's the line that uh, of the paragraph that this is anchored to. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this again. Uh, I'm going to go to another um, document. This one does not have the picture in it yet. So when you're inserting the picture, you want to make sure that um, it comes again, it comes into the right place. So it depends all on where you have this cursor. Let's say I leave the cursor here. Instead of clicking to the um, left of the first line of this uh, paragraph, is, which is what I want to align it with. Let's say I have it up here and then I go to insert and pictures from this device. I find my bird picture and we're going to, um, in the instructions, they have you change the, uh, the size of it and that type of thing, but uh, we'll just kind of go quick here. So I want to make sure that it is square uh, text wrapping. That way the um, the text just stays uh, square with the picture. And let's see, I'll go ahead and align it to the right. So I'm in the layout options um, box and then I'm aligning it top relative to the line and that line is where my cursor was sitting. When I click on OK, so it went over to the right, which is what I wanted, but now notice that the anchor is at this paragraph mark. So, and it's not spaced correctly. So my first instinct is to, well, I'm going to move this down a little bit. But now when I click over here and start moving this down, my picture is not going with it. So again, I'll click on the picture just to, so you can see the anchor is still up here. So if I back up, there's two ways you can remedy this. You can either take the picture and drag it down a line and let go and you can see now that the anchor is sitting there. So now when I hit enter, the items move together. Um, if this was anchored to this line, you could also just click to the left here and um, hit the delete key so it deletes the information, the, that paragraph mark. And now if we click, we can see, okay, that is um, anchored to this paragraph. So now I can move it down and I can change the spacing a little bit. Um, so everything looks okay. So just remember, if you have something in your document, um, you can uh, turn on the show hide button and then click on the object to see this little anchor and that will tell you exactly where it is. You can either, either move the object or you can move the text, but if you want these two items to move together, if you, you know, if you're changing the spacing, then you want to make sure that this object is anchored to this text. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks so much. Take care.